side Don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way With a brand new recipe every day Sending videos from her trailer Yeah, she's Jolene Sugar's Baker Come and spend the holidays The trailer park way Merry Trailer Park Christmas! On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Hey there, Trailer Park fans! It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2016, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holidays. Well, it's 25 days of videos, and you all are following along on a calendar that you downloaded on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, and you'll see that today says Trailer Park Christmas Revisited. Well, what that means is, actually, I've been doing this for so long, Trailer Park Christmas has become a tradition, and I've been on YouTube for over 10 years, and that's been just crazy. And people write me all the time, Jolene, why don't you do this recipe? Well, I might have done that years ago. Well, these are some of my classic recipes that I'd like to share with you again. Like this one today is for banana cake, and people always try to give me recipes to try, and, you know, some of them are for banana cake or banana bread and you know you uh, they try them and you know like mmm try this banana bread and I'm like mmm well this one is tried and true and it will really be great for the holidays and it just is great without any frosting and it's certainly great and your friends will love it over coffee right now for the holidays it's my grandmother's banana cake revisited on Trailer Park Christmas 2016 I'll be right back Welcome back! Making my grandmother's banana cake is really simple and I'm using a stand mixer today but you can certainly mix it by hand and it's super simple that way too. This uses up all those brown bananas that you may have lying around your trailer and it certainly makes great gifts too especially in loaf pans. But what I'm going to do is I've got a half cup of vegetable shortening here and I'm going to put that in the mixer just like that. And this is one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And that goes right on in there. And we're going to turn this on and the, we're going to cream this together and make it creamy. So let me get this started and check back with you in just a moment. Now that you got that creamed together, you're going to add one egg plus one egg yolk right on in there. And that's some sort of scientific thing. So let's go ahead and add that. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Meanwhile, this cake needs something called sour milk. And this is just a cheap person's butter milk. And this is going to use 3 4 cup of regular milk. And just use some vinegar, any kind of work. And just put a dash right on in there. And let this sit aside. And, it, well, maybe not pour it all over the place like that. And this is just going to make a little bit of sour milk. Um, for our cake and it kind of makes it a little bit bubbly and makes it nice and moist um, Kind of like a buttermilk. So let that set aside for a moment Now that you got that together, you're gonna add one cup of mashed bananas right on in there Just like that and mix that together and I'll check back with you in just a moment Next up you're gonna need one teaspoon of baking soda right on in there and one teaspoon of baking powder, just like that, right on in there. And then a half teaspoon of salt. And this creates nice big bubbles in the cake that just make it nice and moist. And especially with that sour milk and that we're going to put in here in just a moment. And just like that. Just mix that together just a little bit, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we're going to dose it up with some vanilla. You know that I don't measure that. About a teaspoon of that right on into the bowl, just like that. And I've got two cups of all-purpose flour here, and we've got our sour milk mixture here. And I'm just going to alternate it right here in the bowl until it's well mixed, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Welcome back. I've got a 9 by 13 cake pan here that I've greased down 
you can spray it out too with some um, baking spray. And I've got our banana bread or banana cake actually. I would pretty much classify this as a cake to be honest with you. Um, but you could sneak it into the loaf pans and give it away as gifts. This would be a great holiday gift. This is just a foolproof recipe that will just surprise everyone that has it because they'll be like, I need this banana cake recipe. This is just one of the best ones that I ever have. And you know, I'm not partial because it is my grandmother's recipe, but it just is a great one. It smells great. It smells like bananas. And let's just spread it on out into the pan. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees and we are going to bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes. Use a toothpick test to see if it's okay to take out. So go ahead and set your timer. And there you have it, my grandmother's banana cake. And look at that. It just looks like the perfect banana cake or banana bread or whatever you want to call it. I don't use any icing or frosting on top, but you can certainly put that up on top of there. But I just can't wait to, I don't even use it for it. Forget that yet. I just pick it up like this and just get a little big chunk of it here. Mmm. Mmm. That is super moist and mm, taste that banana flavor and the vanilla and mm, that is just so good. That is just mmm. That has a like a slight caramel taste too. Mmm. That is the best banana cake that you've ever had. And you should try it. And if you do, send me pictures at Jolene Sugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to find me all over the internet. I've got Instagram, I've got Facebook, I'm all over the place. I'm, you can find me there. But the best thing to do, because it's Trailer Park Christmas, there's a video every day until the 25th. You can go to TrailerParkChristmas.com and download this easy calendar so you can follow along because I see tomorrow that it says Trailer Park Craft. Well, I better get myself together for that because that is tomorrow. So hit that big old subscribe button. Tell your friends all about Trailer Park Christmas 2016. I love spending the holidays with you. I'm going to go have some more banana cake. I love you and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.